Good morning, everyone. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We are located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. As you've noticed in the last couple of weeks, we've kind of changed our focus a little bit in my videos. We were, we were really dialed in, you know, on one specific truck and going over that and the advantage of that. But we've kind of switched and broadened it a little bit and talking about more how Freightliner is a superior product to pickups. And we've predominantly been talking about it on the new inventory, the new Freightliners compared to new pickups. Well, we're gonna expand that even more today and talk about the advantages of Freightliner over Ford and Ram primarily on the use side. Okay, so let's, let's just do an example, head-to-head -head comparison. You buy a new Freightliner, get down the road for a, whatever reason, you have to trade it in and compare that to a pickup that you have to trade it in. The used truck that we're sitting in right now is a 2020 with 50,000 miles on it. That's not a lot. So your resale value of a Freightliner with 50,000 miles compared to a pickup truck with 50,000 miles, just the percentage is significantly different. It's a higher percentage of what you will retain or what you will get back in a Freightliner compared to your pickup. I realize that their pickups have an incredible amount of horsepower. They can tow a lot, but at the end of the day, there's still a pickup and the Kelly Blue Book or JD Power, whatever you want to use, will ding those significantly from the time you leave the lot until the time you trade it in. So if you get a $100,000 pickup, go out and use it for three or four months, and then you realize, you know, I should have listened to Larry from those videos and purchased a Freightliner, and you go to trade it in, that drop in value of that pickup is gonna be significantly lower. And we're gonna get into all the other pros that the Freightliner offers compared to the pickups as we get into the video. But this truck is a 2020 Freightliner M2-106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. So this is our older body style. And there are advantages and disadvantages to it. Some people really like this and I, I really can't blame them. This truck has <coughs> 56,000 miles. So as we look at it from the side, let's talk about some things that jump out and why you should consider purchasing this specific truck. Well, as we can see, it comes with three storage compartments. One in the back, As you can see, it is lined for protection for years to come. As we come forward, we'll take a look at the, these two. Now these aren't connected. See, that is one solid compartment, or you can put things in there individually as well. This hitch is equipped or this is equipped for an air hitch. There is the adjustments that can be made if you install an air ride hitch. As we come forward, the batteries are located right here underneath the back seat. This is the def tank that holds up to six gallons. Beside it is one of two 50 gallon fuel tanks. The other one is on the opposite side. This is the trickle charger. So in this specific case, if you wanted to run the DVD player at night, leave lights on, anything like that, all you have to do is get close to a 110 outlet and plug that in. That will assist the batteries in maintaining power. This is the block heater. People that live in cold climates can take advantage of that and keep that truck plugged in. Now, as we come around in front, and we'll start at the ground and work our way up. As you can see, this has an aftermarket 
light bar running across the bottom. On each side of that are the tow hooks. The bumper is broken into three sections. So if we are in an accident, we can simply replace one of those without having to do the entire bumper. We come on up and see an aftermarket grill put on. Above that, as we take a look at the hood, this is a durability advantage that the Freightliner has over the pickup. That hood is made of compressed fiberglass. It's extremely tough. Compared that to the pickups, we had a hailstorm come through last May, demolish the pickups. But if you could take a look at the hood of those Freightliners, you could really, you couldn't really tell anything had happened. We migrate up and take a look at the windshield. 2,500 square inches of glass. Compare that windshield to a pickup. Which one has more visibility? Obviously the advantage falls to Freightliner. So the amount of glass that's up there, coupled with the fact that we are already above traffic, makes visibility simply outstanding. And finally, as we go up, a row of orange lights running across to assist the truck lighting itself up at night. As we take a look under the hood, That is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It's coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 350 horsepower and roughly 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Now, as you notice under the Freightliner hood, things are kind of color coordinated. So where we see red, that's stuff we're gonna leave for the Freightliner mechanics. But where we see yellow, those are things we can check in pre-trip inspections. Now, as we talk about service a little bit and compare service from a Freightliner to a pickup, a TransWest, we are certified elite and it takes a lot to reach that level, but this company has invested a lot to reach it. And basically what that says is your customer experience will be completely different than at a deal pickup dealership. There will be constant communication, letting you know what's going on with your truck. In addition to that, if you need a ride somewhere, things of that nature, we will accommodate you. Well, compare that to a pickup dealership. You pull in there, they sit you in the lounge, they may not, may not talk to you until the truck is in, if it gets in that day. The guaranteed update is within two hours by the time you roll on to a freight, certified elite Freightliner dealership and they're scattered throughout the country. As we come on in and take a closer look at the tires, comes with Michelin or Toyos 255-80 R22.5. A unique thing about the Summit Hauler conversion is right here. Those are tire balancers. So those come with BBs and a little bit of hydraulic oil. So as you pick up speed and as you gain momentum, that balances the entire rotating mass. Consequently, things are safer, it's a more comfortable ride, and that will extend tire life up to 40%. This truck is stock number. 5U24089. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, both the driver and passenger seats are air ride. Those adjustments made right here. They are heated and vented. This is the switch for the lumbar, so that lets air in and out of the back of the seat. Right below the steering wheel, we see a little pedal. That is to adjust the position of the steering wheel 
while sitting in the driver's seat. Additionally, this comes with a kill switch. There's a lot of voltage running through this truck. So, it's just a good practice to get into to shut that kill switch off when you're done driving for the day. The back seat can be made down into a bed simply by pushing a button. And take it back up to the normal sitting position. I have checked with the DOT. That does qualify as a bed. Now, as we focus on the bed of the truck, we see the sides are lined, which helps protect the truck for years to come. This specific truck comes with an aftermarket storage box. In addition to that, there's an auxiliary fuel tank attached. So consequently, you get more fuel and additional storage as well. As we go up, we see the backup camera located right there. Now as we come on back, this is made of aluminum. So this part isn't steel. So as time goes on and the truck ages, it will look very similar to what it does now. As stated, this is a 2020, so we're four years old, and this doesn't have any rust or show any signs of wear. This is for the Voyager system. So if you have or are in need of additional cameras, you can sim simply plug them in right here. This is where we hook up the lights for the trailer. As we come on back, underneath this plate is the hitch for a bumper pull. As we come on around and take a look at the truck from this side, Let's talk about brakes for a little bit. We're comparing Freightliner to the pickups. As we know, pickups come with hydraulic brakes. So, and this, the Freightliners come with air. So if we get a small leak in each, let's start with the pickups. That oil is gonna continue to leak out of it until A, we get that line replaced, or B, we go to use those brakes and there is simply nothing there. Well, compare that <coughs> to a small leak in the air brakes. Obviously, there's an unlimited supply of air, so we can continue to use them until we get a chance to get that line replaced. One thing that the Summit Hauler conversion does is it has additional weight put over the rear axle. As you can tell from this view, this truck isn't balanced, it can't be. There's a lot more weight on the front than the back. So by putting additional weight over that rear axle helps prevent hydroplaning if we find ourselves in rain. In addition to that, it helps with traction if we are in mud. So there's another safety advantage there as well. As we take a look inside the passenger seat, Just like the driver's side from the standpoint that it comes with air ride, very similar adjustments that are placed on the other side of the seat. Underneath here gives us access to the cab air filters. From this view, we can get a shot of the DVD player, but Perhaps more importantly, this view shows you just how much room and space this truck offers. Compare that to a pickup if you're going 14, 15 hours down the road to a horse show, something like that. You're going to be a lot more comfortable in this truck than a pickup. Let's crawl on in and take a closer look. Let's start by taking a look directly in front of us. This simply confirms 
what we were discussing on the outside. See how we're above traffic? And if you take a look at the windshield, this shows you what kind of visibility this truck offers. Because we can see what's going on in front of us, especially if we have a row of cars in front of us, and we can see what's coming along the sides as well. The backup camera is located right here. So I really like where that is located because we're not looking across trying to find it. A high percentage of my customers leave that on all the time. If you're not towing your trailer and just taking this around, you can see what's coming up beside you as well or behind you. So if you think about it, we actually have 360 degree visibility while we're in our travels. Now let's take a look at the dash. See how this dash wraps around? This isn't flat. So if you need to make any type of adjustments while you're driving, everything is simply right here. We're not reaching, we're not stretching to trying to find a specific adjustment. A big safety advantage that the Freightliner offers over pickups is right here. That's the engine brake. Now that is a true engine brake. It's not an exhaust brake. So for towing a heavy load, especially if we're coming down a sharp decline, we're gonna to want to turn that to high. In this specific case, you actually have 350 horses coming back at you. Consequently, that makes things safer for you and your family and the other drivers on the road as well. Cruise control is set right here. These are for the windows. Automatic transmission. Right now, we're in neutral with the brake on. But when we're ready to start, simply release the brake, R for reverse, D for drive, and you're on your way. Now you can change it by hitting mode, which basically turns it into a manual transmission. And you can select whatever gear you want. Well, some of my customers go ahead and do that, especially if they're going through the mountains where you can adjust what gear you want it in. This is the trailer brake located here. Mirror heaters here. This is the dump valve. So by pressing that button, lets all the air out of the bed of the truck. An example of when you would use that is when you go to hook up your trailer, let the air out, utilize your backup camera, pull underneath your trailer and let the air back in to hook up your trailer. This is rear air conditioning. So you wanna set that cool is blue, heat is red. And this is the fan. So that basically blows the air to the back of the cab. Climate control located right here. As we see a couple of cup holders here, and we open that up, more than ample storage room in that console. So as we review, today we talked about the advantages, especially on the U side of Freightliners compared to pickups. In addition to that, we looked at a real high quality used vehicle that we have on the lot. This is a 2020 with 56,000 miles. If you have any other questions, please reach out to me at 303-684-3404, or you can email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. In addition, for more information, simply click on the link below. Thanks for tuning in today.